Okay, we're live, uh, aren't we? Yes. Okay. Is the mic oh, picking fuck. you up? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I forgot there was other shit I had to do. Can you move your cursor? Oh, shit. Oh, uh, fuck, let's see. Uh, this one... Okay, we're... We are in Otherworld. We are in the space area right now. And I think we just went through that long junkyard and battled the space pirates. But they did not know where Basil was, but there are footprints. Um, also, we unlocked at least some of the fast travel stuff with this Pluto guy. Mm -hmm. So, like, what missions do we have? Do we have... Like, did they tell us anything? I don't know. Let's... Oh, we gotta go talk to Mary, don't we? She gets that. Basil. We got a We got the puzzle. flower puzzles. We can take that back to her. Um, we're still killing rabbits in the vast forest. We lost Hector the pet rock. And we gotta find that rabbit guy. Yeah. Ducky Jr. Um, I guess let's go turn it. Well, okay, so the footprints are leading us this way. Mm -hmm. So I guess let's follow those and, like, we can turn that, in the puzzle. What? That's going to take us back to the lighter, though. Like, isn't the point of the fast travel si system so we don't have to climb? Well, there's Basil's shadow. Yeah, there's, like, a whole area to the west over here that we haven't explored, actually. Hey. Where is everybody? They got scared. Yeah. Mmm, cake. A wish? But what should I wish for? I have everything I could want right here. Are you going on ahead? Don't worry about us. We'll catch up in a minute. There was a space back here that... Yeah, there's obviously several things I can look at in this area. So let's backtrack. Watermelons are my favorite part of summer. What? This music is just making me very sleepy. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's very soothing. Also, a uh, full of sandwich. We ate another big sandwich, and now we're very sleepy. This is true. All right, so that looks like it does like a circle.
So, there's an area here. Yeah. Mary's cookies. Mary's cookies have much more love baked into them. I could eat them forever. No, I, I think that was right. I think there's one more space up above this that you haven't looked at. Well, he went. He went that way, but there's a space up here. I was trying to go here. Okay. Well, I just, I thought you didn't realize there was a space up there. Now I'm lost. I think it's down this little path. Yeah, that, the one you were heading down. We're still young. We should dream big, right? And I wish you had a, a slightly more useful map. Yeah, like an area map. Mm -hmm. This year, you get just one present from all of us. Uh, I think you were looking away, but there is a ladder over here. Okay. And like, this goes off somewhere else, so I'm gonna go down to where the shadow went. light coming from barn for real F's in chat. Is that a book? Uh, the F was not useful there. Fuck. Mm. Sheet music <laughs> on a music stand. What? There's a noose, or is that a light bulb? That's a light bulb. Oh, okay. Yeah. All the notes have been scribbled out. Happy family. Just like in the pink song. Oh, shit. Oh. 
We are back in white space. So there was clearly more we could explore in that in that area in space. Is that what my laptop shows me now? I guess so. We're missing one here. Yeah. So we need to go find that. Your sketchbook. Take a look inside. Yes. It's not a vowel, though, so we don't have to be in any hurry to get it. I wouldn't assume that what you said is true, you know, where if you find them in the wrong order, you don't get to solve it, but... I don't know. Oh, do you have to stab yourself every single time now? I guess so. Fuck. Stab him. At that time, I saw everything. When you stood here before, did you see it too? something behind you. Three days left. Sunny again, yeah. The table lamp. A wardrobe. You have a new message. Hey, Sunny, it's Mommy. How are you doing? Are you eating well? I was hoping that I could make it back to see you today, but it's the last day of a big furniture sale, and I just can't resist a good bargain. You can take care of yourself for a few days, right? After all, you're a big boy now. Remember to finish your chores before I get back. I left a list on the table next to your door. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. Can you read those sticky notes on the wall? Hang on. Do you want to play blackjack? Of course. bad at this. <laughs> I'm failing miserably. Uh, 
All right. Turning this around. Hell yeah. Look I like at how they shit. put little party hats on the, the snoot of the shark. Hell yeah. Shit. Oh my god. Let's go for it. Oh no. What a fucking disaster. Oh no. Why has it gotta be this way? Mom, sticky note. Hi, Sonny. This is a note from Mommy. I left food in the fridge for you downstairs. It's steak, your favorite. Love you. Hugs and kisses. Mom's to-do list. You don't feel like doing your chores right now. Fuck you, Mom. Somebody else is at the fucking door. Hello? Hello? Sonny? Are you there? Do you remember me? It's your old friend, Cal. So I uh, noticed the for sale sign in front of your house, and I heard from my mom that you were moving away soon. I was wondering if you wanted to hang out one more time before you go or whatever. For old time's sake, you know? What would you like to do? Open. I mean, I don't think Kel's dead, right? No. Let's do it. Let's open the fucking door. What? Whoa, you actually came out. I mean, okay, I'm gonna be honest with you, Sonny. I really didn't expect you to come out today, so I don't really have a game plan here. Hey, I know. Let's go to Hobbies. It's the hobby shop in the faraway plaza. You remember the way, right? We used to go there all the time when we were kids. Well, what are we waiting for? Well, let's go. So you see we transitioned from prologue to three days left. Mm-hmm. The classy white mailbox. A for sale sign with big red sold sticker on it. Your house has been sold. In three days you will be moving somewhere else. Should walk in the street, Sonny, that's dangerous. A fire hydrant. A pinwheel blows freely in the yard. Dog. Hold up, Sonny. It's been a while since you've been over at my place, but now might not be a good time. Oh my. The implications.
I just wanted to pet a dog. Kel's basketball hoop seems a little dangerous out in the street like that. An empty birdhouse filled with sticks and dust. What are those statues? A statue of a religious figure. You feel as if it is judging you. What religious figure? I guess it's got a little crucifix, doesn't it? A nobody home. Absolutely not. Far away park. The future belongs to the dreamers. A vending machine. He said far away plaza, right? I think so, yeah. I'm on my way to the church, but it's a ritual of mine to take a quick stroll before delivering my sermons. I've had horrible stage fright since I was a child, but a scenic walk always seems to calm my nerves. Oh. They don't exist. Life's been kind of stressful lately, but people watching out here helps put helps me put things into perspective. I might make a bit of a habit to come to this park more often. I guess sometimes all it takes is to relax. All it takes to relax is to stop and smell the roses. An artist is diligently sketching away. It's a cool drawing of the park you have there. Oh, hi there. Thank you. I'm just practicing. That's what you call practicing, but it looks so real. I bet you could even sell that for money. Don't you think so, Sonny? Sure. See? Even Sonny agrees with me. I'd buy that from you right now. Lend me $20, Sonny. That's nice of you, but it's not for sale. It's for my portfolio. I'm trying to get into art school next year. Darn, that's too bad. That would have been great on my bedroom wall. You really think so? My name is Mincy. What's yours? I'm Kel, and this is Sonny. Hi, Kel and Sonny. It's nice to meet both of you. It's nice to meet you too, Mincy. What's wrong? It's nothing. You're the first person to say something positive about my drawings. Sometimes, when I'm feeling down, it makes me question myself, and it gets hard to move my pencil. I don't believe that at all. I really think your drawing is great. I wouldn't be able to do that in a million years. Don't be too hard on yourself, Mincy. Me and Sonny believe in you. Yeah, you're right. I just gotta shake off those bad feelings. I'll try to buckle down and finish this now. That's the spirit. See you around, Mincy. You got this. Everything smells like rusty metal. I don't know if you've been watching where you're stepping, but there's quite a lot of trash around this town. If you happen to find any, can you bring it to me so I can dispose of it properly? Let's help the world one step at a time. There's some trash. Fruit. Apple guy. Drink apple juice. Have you ever heard the phrase, an apple a day keeps the doctor away? The same concept applies to apple juice. 
supports hydration, contains beneficial plant compounds, and may support heart health. It may also protect your brain as you age. There are no downsides as far as I'm concerned. Old hobo, hello. All right. Today is such a beautiful day, don't you think? I may not have any money, but at least sunlight is free. Olive Beanie. When I was younger, my family used to go to this park a lot. I remember there being a lake with a statue in the middle, but I can't find it anywhere. Can you cut those? Oh, yeah. No. No, I guess I don't have a knife. I wonder if I should have gone to the kitchen before I opened the door. Yeah, I don't know if it would have kept going or not. You know what I mean? Yeah. The stench of this man is indescribable. What you making that face for, bub? Is there something on my face? Oh, hey, what's up? What are you doing here, Kel? You're from... You from around this part of town? Oh, whoa, didn't expect to see here, see you here, Jay. Sonny, this is Jay. He's captain of the football team at my high school. I didn't know you play basketball, too. I'm just here to kill time. It's more of a hobby than anything. You're trying out for the basketball team this year, right, Kel? Maybe you could teach me some of your tricks. Yeah, definitely. That sounds like fun, but maybe another time. My childhood friend Sonny here is leaving town in the next few days, so we're hanging out all day today. I'll definitely catch up with you later, though. Sure, we can set something up this next week. Uh, same time, same place. Sounds good. See you then. We are the Recycultists, followers of the Holy Bin. As all have littered, all must accept that they are trash. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Little car toys. Little car toys. A yo-yo. Some trash out here. Let me grab it and I'll go take it all to that lady. There's thus far been no music in the real world sections, right? I don't think so. I don't think so either. Oh, hell yeah. Four dollars. Alright, so houses are to the uh, west, the park is to the north, what's to the south? Cat. Cat. Oh, oh, oh. Out of the way, nerds. Oh, shit. It's them. Let's hope we don't bump into those guys again. These guys are nothing but trouble, and I want my day to be a good day. It was a grungy fucking track. It's the town plaza north of here. Is he going to say the same thing here? Yeah. Whoops. Why did it let me go to the park? Oh, well. Am I stupid? I didn't think there was anywhere else to go up here.
Like, there were road signs blocking everything off over here, but to the east, I don't know. I can't remember. Okay. Maybe I just didn't go far enough this way. You are correct. You found a coin. Smelly cans. You got trash. Would you like to throw a coin into the fountain, of course? The coin fell straight to the bottom. I just made a, mi a wish that I would meet my one true love today. So that's the store. Yeah, yeah. Is uh, that a see. person up there? Yeah, that's Space... Space Boyfriend. Or Space Boy. Space Boy. No longer Space Boyfriend. Free orange juice. Orange is the happiest color. Well, that's fine. That's because yellow is. Just know that the same concept applies to orange juice. It has vitamin C, which is essentially for healthy immune system functions. It's also an antioxidant that may have health benefits by protecting your cells from re free radical damage. Bro, you have got to chill out. I am just trying to collect some fucking garbage. Oh, just let me get the garbage. Yeah, I felt sorry for this dude. We used to be friends, but, you know, I wanted to hang out with him one time before he moved, and all he did was collect garbage. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah. Look at this place. Look at that anime poster on the wall. Or, sorry, w anime wall scroll. Is that... Okay, on the right here, is that the cover of Mortis' Stargate? Maybe. Well, here we are at Hobbies. It's probably been a while since you were here, but it hasn't really changed that much. It's all the same old stuff. Captain Space Boy games, sweetheart movies, a few pet rocks. Except now they're vintage. Actually, since we're here, I should probably buy a gift for Hero. He's in college right now, but he should be coming back sometime tomorrow. He's studying to be a doctor, so maybe I should buy him some medicine? No, that's a horrible idea. You should pick out the gift, Sonny. Let's look around and see what there is. Bunch of small figurines. I've always been fond of these little guys. Hero would get mad at me for spending money on them, though. Let's not remind him of that. Shot full of comic books. Looking through these comics bring back so many memories. It's like old times with Hasani. Hero was never too interested in comics, though. Some CDs. The CDs look pretty cool. I think Hero would appreciate something more sentimental. Let's keep looking. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Fuck off. A new video game called Super Ultra Sprout Mole Eater Revenge of the Moles 3. Rated M for Mature, huh? That's too violent for Hero. He definitely wouldn't appreciate something like this. A cardboard cutout of Captain Space Boy. Shock full of DVDs. A lot of these DVDs are catching dust. I'm sure we have most of these somewhere at home already. Probably also catching dust. This place is kind of small, but it has a lot of old and rare collectibles. People even come all the way from the city to shop here. My favorite novel just got a comic adaptation, but the main character looks nothing like how I imagined. poster from a new game where you tra travel across dif dis di different worlds. Yeah, I can't tell what the posters are. A game called Captain Space Boy Space Adventure. It costs a dollar to play. Let's get Hero's Gift first. We can play later. 
Poster for a new game where you can run around and fight evil monsters on skateboards. An interesting poster. The monster in the poster looks so realistic. I'll bet fighting that would be a tough battle. Will you challenge the monster to a battle? Yes. Whoa. Jackson. Jackson Vordies. Oh. <laughs> Look at his face. Oh no. <laughs> Hello, Sunny. Earth to Sunny. Whoa, a CD fell from behind the poster. Weird, I wonder who hid it there. I guess we can just take it. You got a Mary CD. This, yes, this is perfect. Papa Chip's Chip Off the Old Block Cookbook. That's a mouthful. Hero had a copy of this when we were kids, but our dog Hector destroyed it. He's going to be so happy when he sees this. But before that, we need to ask the most important question. How much does it cost? Twenty dollars? This is extortion. Shoot, I left my wallet at home. Uh, can you spot me, Sonny? I'll pay you back, I promise. Thanks, friend. I know I can count on you. Do I have money? You have four dollars. I have thirty-four dollars. Oh, okay. I don't know where I got the other thirty. I'd like to buy this cookbook, Kel. How have you been, buddy? It's been a while since you come around, hasn't it? Ah, uh, that's Papa Chips. Chip off the old block cookbook. I see you have good taste. Yeah, my brother used to follow the recipes all the time. His cookies were my favorite. It's rare that I see another fan of Papa Chip's work. That'll be $20, please. Thank you, kind sirs. Please enjoy. You got Hero's Gift. Thanks a lot, Sonny. I bet Hero will love this. We must purchase a capsule. Oh, yes. Oh, shit. Of course, that's what you get. You got a green hand. Oh, was that a, uh... A weapon? I don't think it's a weapon. I think it's a... Oh, you're right. Like, it may not be one that he can use. Yeah, I guess not. Maybe it's a charm? Uh... That's no. still under equip. Oh, is it? I'm stupid. Yeah. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> no, it, it, it collects gross shit. Yeah. That's what they do. I'm going to play Space Boy Adventure. I see you have your eyes on that video game. It's called Captain Space Boy's Adventure. It was more popular a few years ago, but it still retains some competitive players today. People from all over the town have tried it, but I'll have you know that I still hold the high score. If you can beat it, I'll give you something cool. Are those power-ups? I we... don't know.
I mean, I don't really feel like you need them. <laughs> Not yet. But they are starting to move faster. Ooh. Fuck. Yeah, those are like... It makes it harder to hide behind cover, though. Fuck. Oh my god! Holy shit, now I've like really fucked up. Oh no. I wonder what the high score was. Tickle me impressed, you beat my high score. You must should... suck shit at Yeah, this you game. must be really fucking terrible, dude. I should make room for the new generation. Here's your prize, as promised. I only give it out to people I think are really cool. You got cool glasses. So where do you want to go, Sonny? I guess there's really not much to do around the suburbs, huh? How about the faraway park? Yeah, the park. Yeah, we did that already. We passed it on the way here. That sounds fun, doesn't it? Equip the green hand on him if you're not going to use it. He's got his rock. Oh, okay. Go to fix it, where you can buy stuff and fix it yourself. What can I interest you in when you sell? Flowers. Long building. Yeah, there's a lot in here. Can you go into the back? Maybe. Talk to these folks first. Gruff guy. Hey, stranger. How's your day been? My day's been going just great. Want to know why? Because today is the day that I'm finally going to fix the leak in my house. My problem began a couple of weeks ago. I found a really stubborn leak in the corner of my living room. How I got there, I don't know. It wasn't very noticeable at first, but the leak has been getting slowly worse and worse every day. To tell the truth, I've gotten used to hearing the sound of dripping water and feeling of damp carpet. But you know what? Today is the day everything changes. Yes, I'm finally at Fix It. My tools are ready, and I'm, I'm going to fix it. Sorry for ranting to you like that. The leak must be driving me mad without me knowing. My house is next to the church southwest of here. If you want to come and watch this momentous occasion, be my guest. After all this time, we finally moved in together. This is so exciting, isn't it, Sean? Yeah, this is the start of the rest of our lives. Now it's time to make our most important decision. What color should we paint our walls? I think anything will work. I like all of the colors. What do you think, Sean? I could go any way, too. Don't worry about me. You can choose, Karen. What color would you like? Oh, Sean, you're too selfless. I don't need to pick a wall color. I'll be happy with anything as long as I'm with you. Karen, if we keep doing this, we're going to be stuck here forever. You're right. What if we just close our eyes and pick a color? That works. That way, the result will be completely impartial. Let's do it. Sounds good. Close your eyes, Karen. Wait, hold on. It's okay. You should be the one to do it, Sean. I insist. No, Karen, it should be you. What if I pick a color you don't like? We're not getting anything done here, are we? I have an idea. Let's get a stranger to help us. Hey, you. Could you help us for a second? Please come here and pick a color sample. Just make sure it's completely random. Hey, 
picked up a floral wallpaper sample. What's this wallpaper doing in the paint section? Must have gotten misplaced. Well, it's not really what I was expecting, but I'm kind of digging it. What do you think, Karen? A wallpaper seems neat. I think this works just fine. Let's do it. Thank you so much for your help. We're both from uh, around the area, but we just moved in together. So into a brand new house recently. It's the one with the yellow roof on the street near the church. We're thinking of having a housewarming party two days from now. It would be amazing if you could join us. If you children that we yeah. don't know. Thanks so much for your help. We're both from... Oh, fuck. We're just saying the same shit. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can go out back. That's not out back. That's the employee section. <laughs> well, it looks like there's sunlight coming in. Oh, no. It's a warehouse. It's the gardening section. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. They disappeared. That may have been Basil and Mary. You found a seashell. Well, these little bonsais. Flowers. This is much healthier than a lot of the plants look at a hardware store gardening department, in my experience. That is accurate. Do you think we should go buy those flowers? I don't know, because, like, you only have, like, $11 now. You're interested in a quick job, yes. It's awesome, kid. I'll get you started. Taking the job, Sonny? In that case, I'll come back for you later. Work hard, okay? Take a look at the shelves behind you, and you'll probably probably notice something uh, that everything's jumbled a jumbled mess, just like my reading. Uh, you'd think with a sign above the shelf, it'd be obvious where to put things, but people just don't give a crap these days. I hate working retail. Anyway, the sign over the shelf shows what product should be on display. Your job is to move everything back to its rightful place. Got it? Counting on you, kid. You just get to do it. Okay, I see. That's the hammer you just passed. Oh, okay, so I guess I put it and then take something else. Yeah, take one of the wrenches. of rearranged tool. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking thrilling gameplay. Uh-huh. I mean, it would be more entertaining, I guess, if it was, like, actual retail, where it's, I need you to put the right things on the right shelf, but there are people who just stand in front of the shelf doing nothing for a solid hour. There's somebody who has to pull you away from your job to ask you something completely stupid, like, uh, are these on sale? When it's something with a big sale sticker on it, they pulled off a shelf that had a big sale sign on it. Or where's the frozen pizza in this hardware store? Can't get frozen pizza at a hardware store anymore. <laughs> Why does this cost so much? <laughs> I 
Oh, we gotta get this finished so we can go to that dude's fucking roof repair party. <laughs> oh, fuck. What did I just take? A drill. Okay. Almost there. Oh, fuck. <laughs> now I'm fucking up. Look at that shit. Beautiful. Oh, what? You're finally done? Excellent work, kid. Here's $30. That was way over minimum wage. <laughs> well, I mean, it depends, I guess, on how long that actually took you in game time, you know? Like, did it take you hours? <laughs> hey, were you here the whole day? <laughs> Okay, let's see. Uh, we can go to Other Mart or Geno's. Let's go to Geno's. It's smaller. Actually, let's talk to this person. I'm Michael, a soon to be traveling musician. I've been playing guitar here at the Town Plaza for years now, but I think I'm ready to move on. Will you help me reach my goal? Anything will help. Uh, fuck it. Are you sure you want to donate $10 to Guitar Guy? Looks like I have quite a bit to go before I can afford to leave town. Thank you. In return, I'll play you an original song. It's Wonderwall. Today. <laughs> oh, it's KK Slider. Like, straight up. <laughs> what if you could just take that money back? <laughs> oh, Pizza Place. What up, Pizza Place? Kindly seat yourself. Smash that barrel. My name is my name is Jean, though. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. No, I don't own this place. But they gave me a free whole pizza for my birthday every year, so that's pretty cool. Cannot smash the barrel. Then how will you get the secrets hidden inside? Hey, kiddos. You caught me on my break. I've been trying to decide what to eat for a good 10 minutes, and I don't know why I'm fussing so much. Whatever I get is sure to be good. Oh, my. Whatever you get is sure to be pizza. <laughs> I'm trying to look at their menu here, if it'll let me. Oh, those are advertisements. Advertisements. Mmm. Pizza. So, oh, so, <laughs> I'm Ray. I take pride in being a musical connoisseur of That's sorts. Right. If you play a CD on the jukebox over there, I bet I can tell you who the artist is. The idea that you could go and just sh shove a CD into a jukebox. Yeah. 
I know this song. This is an original song by Toby oh, Fox. Okay. Accurate. What's up, pizza man? Welcome to Gino's Pizza. What can I get for you? Tasty soda and orange Joe. Kel's favorite soda, orange flavored <laughs> coffee. Coffee? <laughs> Disgusting. Pizza slice, hero sandwich, hero's favorite food. Salad, grass in a bowl, eight eighths of a whole pizza. If there's any reason to buy that stuff. Broken arcade machine. Did you talk to this dude? This, uh, this no, dude. I didn't see that person, but I will. I'm gonna buy an orange Joe. And a slice of pizza. I wonder if you're supposed to donate enough to that dude to for him to be able to get out of town. I would imagine so. I guess you've got three days to do it. My wife keeps telling me that I'm getting chubbier and chubbier, but I can't just I just can't help myself. We live close to delicious food like Gina's pizza. Pizza. Fucking insane. I wish we had some pizza we could eat around here. Grocery store. Ice. Gotta shake them all. Shook it. Did you shake that one? Thought I did. Thought something might pop out, but it did not. Bananas. Bananies. Bananies? I see no avocados. My mom and I are buying healthy stuff at the other mart because she threw away all the snacks at her house yesterday. I think she's on a health career since my dad's only eating junk food lately. Why can't we do both? Just threw all of it out? <laughs> my husband keeps eating junk food. I need to make sure he has a healthy meal. Grapes. Got any grapes? My son Billy is such a stickler for the environment. He and his friends are always picking up trash around the town. It's good to see so many young people these days taking care of the planet. <laughs> Since we won't. <laughs> All the containers in this section can be recycled to create new containers over and over again. Such a beautiful concept, isn't it? All of this wet cardboard can be used oh. over and over again. It's a pharmacy that way. Fish. So you know this place stinks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, bakery. That's closed. There's just bread everywhere. We can just take it. Pie. Bread. Can't go into the back. See the secret bread machines. Secret bread. A machine to make bread. A machine to bake bread. <laughs> Candy shop. Can you talk to the fishmonger? Oh. Hey! Yes. Okay. Are the fish loose in the store? I give you weapon, you kill flies. Okay, okay. It's Mario time. It's time to chase, chase Lady Dimitrescu around with the fly swatter. I'll have to battle him. Did you equip the fly swatter? Oh, God. 
Look at that shit. <laughs> to be fair, that is what being around a fly induces upon you. Yeah. Let me make sure I did equip it. I think I think it just did it automatically. Actually, I can't unequip anything or equip anything, so it must be. I mean, either way, you killed it in one hit. Yeah. So. yeah. You see that the house flies are not hurting you, right? Like they land on your face and you slap yourself in the face and take a point of damage. Yes. Was that it? There may be some closer to the front of the store. Oh, yeah, there's some. Yeah, I guess it'll just end once I kill them oh, all. Oh shit, That Gordon. is not a house fly. <laughs> So I think there was a job at the pizza place too if those red and white bulletin boards are job listings. I thought I looked at everything there, but maybe there is. I'll go look again. Fish. So is there a job at this other place? I don't know. I'm gonna look. Nah. There's two. Oh, okay. Hope we meet again. Is there nothing I can do? Okay. What are we looking at? Medicine. Kids need anything for cuts and scratches? Oh, here we go. You have one first aid kit. Nice. Let's go check out the candy store. Welcome, we hope our candy makes you smile. 
Told you, curtsy, it's smiley. <laughs> smiley. Sensational sour gum. Oh, that sounds delicious. Ladder. Not interactable. God, I would love to go to one of these candy shops with these, like, you know, racks full of candy you scoop out. Yeah, I know. Like, they used to have those at. Uh... Like Win Dixie or some yeah, shit, right? Yeah, like I feel like they were at Win Dixie. Like or when we somewhere. were fairly young. <laughs> Hi, it's me, the happy and cheery Miss Candace. What would you like today? Candy, chocolate, caramel, apple. I'm assuming you have to like come get this stuff for like specific missions, baby. Yeah, like, I, I just don't know how much time you actually do spend here in this, you know, like, real, real world. There seems to be a lot to do. Because I, I, I don't know, it didn't seem like this would have happened if you'd opened the door for Mary in the first one. You oh, know? no, I think something terrible might have happened. Food is the only vehicle for sauce if you're a coward. <laughs> Fucking, uh... Sauce without food is just soup. You know what I mean? Like if you eat marinara straight out of the jar, that's just tomato soup. Right? I guess, but it's still sauce. No, it's tomato soup if you don't put it on anything. Like, sauce is a, a verb. Like, if you sauce something. Agree with me. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna do your pizza job. How nightmarish. Do you want the good news or the bad news? Start with the good news. So the good news is we got three different pizza orders today. The bad news is our delivery boy suddenly called in sick yet again. His customers aren't regular, so we stopped recording their addresses a long time ago. I can't remember where they live off the top of my head, but I do remember what their houses look like. Take these notes and you'll be fine. I can't imagine a shittier way to run your business, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Oh shit, we got a little fucking uniform and everything. Oh, you got an orange visor. You have become the little Caesar. Oh, I get a bike? Holy shit, can you find the house that has fence? No fence. No fence. The. And. The no gar- wait, what? No fence and no garbage can, maybe? So this has no fence, but it has a garbage can. <laughs> Quit job. <laughs> wait, what? You can't ride it. You oh. rode it to get here faster, but you can't ride it down the street. No fence and no garbage can? That's what it seemed to say. Okay. Okay, so nobody meets that criteria. Nope, we gotta keep going. Here we go. Pizza delivery! Just leave it on the floor. I'll come and get it. Yeah, that makes sense. Hey, that's... What? <laughs> That's better than, come on in. <laughs> Money's on the table. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I've had that happen before. Find the house with the dirt patch and fence. The dirt patch by the fence and the light gray roof. Light gray roof.
That's it. Just leave it on the floor. <laughs> Bottles by the garage and no fence. The bottles by the garbage. By the garbage, and yeah. No fence. Why the house is so much further away? I don't know. This one has no fence. Okay, this is a little further back fence. No bottles by that garbage. Yeah, it's got tires. Fence. No bottles. Fence. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Oh, your customer satisfaction rating Absolutely is... not true. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, hell yeah. You get all of this instead of insurance. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's very likely you will be held at gunpoint at some point during your job. <laughs> I never got held at gunpoint. <laughs> yeah, but you didn't deliver regularly. Yeah, that's true. Oh, there it comes. Didn't hear it for a second. know this song. This is a cover of Stardust Diving by Sam Neeland. Do you know who that is? No. I don't either. So how much do you have now? 55. Should I give some more to this guy? Yeah, I don't know how much. Like, maybe give him another 10 and see what he says. It's the same song. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Kel wanted you to go back to the park, so I don't know, maybe you should go back to the park. Well, I've got, I've got some garbage to give anyway, so... Did you ever get those bags I out did, of the corner yeah. up here? I wanted to make sure there was nothing to the east over there. And I guess you can walk along these other neighborhood streets. Well, he may tell you to go to the park. Oh, it's those bully kids over there, I guess. Wait, don't go, please. Sorry, dude, I can't help you. You're on your own. Some commotion over there. Let's check it out. I say no to my business. If you got beef with her, talk to her yourself, you creep. I'm begging you. Just ask her to give it back. She won't listen to me. Wait, is that... That's Basil. Leave him alone, you bully. Who's there? Oh, it's just Kel. 
Why don't you mind your own business? Why don't you go bother that? Why don't you go bother somebody else, Kim? Well, aren't you acting all high and mighty? You don't make the rules around here. What's going on over there? Is this Aubrey? I don't know. Oh, hey, Aubrey. <laughs> Snurd Kell just showed up and thinks he can boss me around. Let's show him what's what. Kell, what do you want? Stop messing with Basil. How could you? We all used to be friends, don't you remember? Tell her, Sonny. Sonny's here. Well, it really is you. It's been a while, but you haven't changed a bit. How long has it been since you left your house? Three years? Maybe four? Must have been nice to live in your own little bubble. Watch it, Aubrey. You don't you don't know what he's been through. Whatever. Aubrey, please, listen to me. Hey, stop that. Leave it alone, Kel. This isn't your problem. The heck is wrong with you, Aubrey? Sonny, come on, we've got to do something. Are you guys really picking a fight? Sure, why not? The two of you against me, how's that sound? Come at me. I'll take you both of you. Oh. Uh. That raises attack, but it means that he's not going to be attacking that time. Yeah. Oh, this heals that thing that Sonny has. Uh. Jesus Christ. Is that a knife? So I guess he just has the knife. <laughs> Oh, shoot. Aubrey, are you okay? You're hurt. I'm fine. No, you're not. You're bleeding. We gotta get out of here. I mean... To be fair, she had a baseball bat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you losers defended yourselves with a weapon? That was about to get really messy. Good thing you had your knife. <laughs> or we would have... Wait a sec. Give me that. <laughs> Kel took your steak knife. Shouldn't be carrying things around like this, Sonny. It's dangerous. Okay. You people are fucking idiots. <laughs> Aubrey's really changed since you last saw her. Her and her new friends have been nothing but trouble. But that's no reason to defend yourself. Poor Basil. Let's check if he's okay. Hey, Basil, how you doing? Uh, I'm fine. Thank you, Kel. I don't know if you noticed, but Sonny is here, too. He stabbed a lady. <laughs> Say hi, Sonny. You know Sonny. <laughs> oh, hey, Sonny. It's been a while, hasn't it? What a happy reunion. So did you hang out with... Oh, yeah. Did you want to hang out with us today? I'm sorry. I'd love to, but I should probably head home. Really? Are you sure? My grandma hasn't been feeling too well lately. I'm sorry to hear that. Let us at least walk you home. It's been so long since we've all hung out. Alright then, thank you. Oh, he's not on... Oh, well, he never is on our party, though. I guess that's true. I got garbage to fucking deliver... Basil, calm down. Ugh.
Wormhole. Wait, what? So that means... Up... Wait, no. Here? That's what I think, maybe. Okay, no. Okay. <laughs> It's on the street that's diagonal from ours from the crosswalk. So then I guess it's this one down here. Okay. There is Basil's house. It's the one with the green roof. Thanks for walking me home. No problem. If you ever need anything from me, just ask, okay? We'll catch you later, Basil. Okay. Wait, please don't go. I mean, I'm so sorry. I actually have a favor to ask. Anything, Basil, what do you need? Well, you see... Something important was taken from me. When we used to be friends, do you remember how I used to take pictures of everyone? Of course I remember. His photos meant everything to you. Right. Well, Aubrey, she took my photo album, and Aubrey stole your photo album. She, she won't give it back. What a scumbag. Don't worry about a thing, Basil. Me and Sonny got you covered. Okay, thank you. By the way, about what you said before. We're still friends. I want you to know that, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'll see you later. Come on, Sonny, there's no time to lose. We got a photo album to find. Let's check Faraway Park for clues. Okay, but first, can we search the street for trash? <laughs> Steal trash out of people's garbage cans? I don't see any dog. <laughs> you love that joke. Hey. Hey, stranger. You're just in time to help critique <laughs> my latest work in progress. Dog. Bork, 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 bork. Lucas. A microwave. A microwave. You just fucking walk all over this lady's house. I mean, that's what you do in RPGs. Ooh. A wiggy board. <laughs> doesn't come in here with you. He thinks you're shitting. Look at the sketch for me. What do you think? Drawing looks too stiff, doesn't it? No. Really? I don't know. It looks a little stiff.
I mean, do I need to tell her that it looks stuff? Yes. Oh, oh. She motherfucking painting. Voila. Much better. Guess you just need to agree with everything. Yeah. To encourage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if an artist says, does this look like shit? You say yes. If they say, does this look good? You say yes. Okay, yeah, let's get back to the park. Down in the park? Yeah. Mm. Ow. You okay? Yeah, I pulled a tangle out of my hair. It just hurt real bad. Garbage lady. Four dollars? Still? I think she just gives you a dollar per. They were hanging out. Yeah, I was just looking around to see if anything had changed over here. Looks like Aubrey isn't here. Oh, I, I know you. Your name's Charlie, right? I see you hanging around Aubrey sometimes. You know where she is? You know, Charlie, I can tell you're not uh, really a mean type of person. Aubrey took something important from Basil, and we need to get it back. Is there any way you can help us? What did you do that for? But isn't Kel and that weird knife guy? We're the adversaries for the great and mighty Angel. Finally, it is time for you to meet your doom. Angel, we don't have time for this. We just have to find Aubrey. You know where she is? You seek Aubrey, do you? Interesting. I will tell you what I know. But first, you must best me in battle. Battle? But I don't know. I, want to punch a, I don't want to punch a little kid. You won't lay a finger on me. Come on. Let's sick him, Charlie. What do you think we should do? Did Kel give you your knife back? I hope so. Surprise me, Kel. You would make a worthy rival for my master. Like, I'm afraid if we kill this dude first, this other dude's just gonna smash us to bits. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> or maybe he doesn't want to fight at all. 
How could this be? My training was all for nothing. My head hurts. You're the one who started it. You bully. Okay, Angel, it's time to be serious now. We beat you and Charlie, so tell us where Aubrey is. A promise is a promise, I suppose. I will honor my word and tell you what I know. The truth is, Aubrey is somewhere in faraway town, probably. Dang it, Angel, you better not be messing around or else. Told you I'd tell you what I know. The truth is, I don't know anything. You better tell us where she is now, or else I'll tell everyone about that time you wet your bed at summer camp. You can't do that. That's cheating. Anyway, I really don't know. Maybe you can ask my master, the Maverick. He's the keeper of all knowledge. He told me that himself. The Maverick? Oh no. You mean that weird kid, Michael? Don't you dare call him by that name. He would take great offense to that. I see, so it is him. Where can I find the Maverick? I'll tell you what I know, but you'll have to fight me first. Or I can tell everyone about the time you... Okay, fine, I'll talk. Master went to the fountain at the faraway plaza. He said he was going to meet some uh, girls there for a date or something. Disgusting. <laughs> Alright, back to the plaza. I'm going to go save real quick. Do you want to heal up? Yeah, I should probably do that. Because we had to fight twice now. Because, like, you have the thing you can use your juice for. But I don't know. I guess you can drink, like, buy a soda and replenish juice. I bought some to. bandages. Yeah, but I'm just saying it's... The plaza's up there. Fuck, I forgot. I also have those tutoring jobs I could go do. Mm hmm. As though you know math or English. I know English. And then I told him, it's not Maverick, it's THE Maverick. Oh, the Maverick, you're so funny. What an amazing story, the Maverick. Girls, girls, please, there's enough of me to go around. Michael, what are you doing? If it isn't Kel, my arch nemesis. Finally, here to admit defeat, are you? I don't have time for this, Michael. We're looking for Aubrey. Have you seen her around? Stop calling me that. I cast away that name a long time ago. Do you know where she is or not? Again, with that godforsaken name. How dare you make a fool of me. I will not stand for this. Prepare to face your doom. Watch this, ladies. I'll whack the floor with this loser. Please, Michael. Don't do this to yourself. I'm going to ask you one more time. Fight me, you wad. Don't be a chicken. <clears throat> Are we really going to do this? Okay, then. Come on, Sonny. Let's take him down. Give me back my knife. Like, for real, this dude Kel is having to, like, troll around town beating up weirdos and keeping his uh, clinically depressed friend from stabbing people. You maybe want to, uh, encourage Sonny, because Sonny's only doing, like, 20 damage. Oh, okay. Because he's having to use his fists. Oh, I didn't realize we weren't doing a whole lot of damage to the guy. Like, Kel is doing the same amount of damage he was doing to the other guy. It's just, he took Sonny's weapon away, so... <laughs> uh, 
Uh-huh. Uh-huh. He was studying the blade. By the blade, he means, um, nothing, I guess. Final form. Can't be over for me. People of Earth. Oh. Lend me your strength. Take his money too, shit. You <laughs> beat him up and take his money. Oh, his wig fell off. I'll never ask you for anything again in my life. Just tell me where Aubrey is and we'll go. I do happen to know where she is and I'll tell you on one condition. You must call me by my true name, the Maverick. Forget it. Let's go find Kim. She probably knows where Aubrey is. Her and Vance were major sugar heads, so I have a hunch that they're probably somewhere near Candy. Knowing Kim and Vance, they're probably somewhere around here. There she is. Hurry, Vance, let's shove it all in our pockets before someone sees us. Hey, Kim, have you seen Aubrey anywhere? It's that nerd Kel. Come on, Vance, we gotta go. You gotta heal Kel as yeah. soon as this fight starts. Hey, I don't think you paid for those. Out of my way, nerd. You don't know me. Hold on. I'm not here to snitch. We just need to know. We just need to find Aubrey. You know where she is. Aubrey. I don't know anything about that. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Had enough of this for today. Let's make a deal. You tell me where Aubrey is, and I don't turn you in for stealing that candy. I thought you said you weren't a snitch, and I don't need to be if you tell me where Aubrey is. Thought I told you never to come back here. Hand over the stolen candy. Don't make me call the cops on you kids. We're busted. Here's your stupid candy. Come on, Vance. Let's get out of this dump. Wait, how will we find out where Aubrey is now? Come on, Sonny, let's follow them. I'm gonna heal Kel now. Well, I was going to. Hold up, Sonny, I think I have an idea. It's 
Sorry for the hold up. Let's go to let's go catch up to Kim and Vance. Yeah, let me uh, try to heal him. I'm gonna go get a drink. Do you want one? Please. My throat is so dry. Yeah, I finished off that teeny tiny little coffee in no time. Um, an orange guy, please. Yes. Sorry, Vance. No candy today. Vance is like a like a thirty year old man. He's got a goatee. Not again. I don't know how much longer I can last. We're going to die. Let's just go home. We're going to be late for dinner. I also crave candy and sometimes have a goatee and am 30. <laughs> true, true. Wait, Kim, I have something for you. What do you want, you bully? Tell us where Aubrey is and I'll give you this whole big bag of candy. Really? The whole bag? I mean, wait. You can't buy us off with candy. Who do you take us for? I don't know, Kim. We haven't had candy for an entire week. And there's a whole bag right in front of us. We don't even have to pay for it. Can we at least ask if there if he has any taffy in there? Stop it, Vance. We have to stay strong. When we go to Dad's house, we'll be able to have all the candy we want. Okay, I'll do it for you, sis. Kim, Vance, I'm waiting. Like we'd accept candy from a bunch of nerds. Really? I was sure that would work. This was a waste of time. Let's get out of here. Wait. Please, Kim. You're the only lead we've got. Please take this big bag of candy. We, we even have taffy in here. Did someone say taffy? I see. That changes everything. Fine. You really want to know that badly? Let's settle this with our fist. If you win, I'll tell you where Aubrey is. But if you win, if we win, you give us that bag of taffy and never talk to us again. There's no need to fight. If you just tell me where she is, I'll give you the whole bag. But I want to fight. Come on, put them up, you two. It's time to duke it out. What is with you guys in fighting? Well, I guess we have no choice. You know the drill. I wish... <laughs> I wish that Sunny now had a drill. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, you may want to encourage Sunny. Like I said. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Jesus Christ! Oh shit! I don't know how much that does heal. I don't know either. Were you able to use it on someone else? Nope. I haven't been able to use it yet. What does sadness do? You gotta calm him, because he his defense goes up, but his attack goes down. Calm down said it healed heart and removed emotions. Okay, I took out Kim at least. It made uh, Kel sad again. Like, you can use it on someone else, right? I did. I already did it once. It didn't do anything. Like, I don't know. Maybe I did it wrong. Because, like, look. It's targeting him. Okay. 
Wait. I thought it was. I don't know. Maybe I fucked it up. Well, I mean, it didn't do anything, so maybe you can't use it on anyone other You're than right. him. You're right. It's only it's only affecting Sonny. So it's pointless. Like, I think these fights are supposed to be really winnable. Damn. <clears throat> All he wanted was a Pepsi. I can't believe we lost. We can never let Aubrey know about this. <clears throat> Come on, Kim. We gotta go home. It's almost time for dinner. Mom's gonna be really mad if we're late. Let's get out of here. <laughs> where do you think you're going? We won, so you need to tell us where Aubrey is. Oh, yeah, that's right. Aubrey's at the church, the one near our house. Aubrey's at church? Don't look at me, you're the one who wanted to know. If she asked who told you, it wasn't me. Say it was Michael or something. We gotta scoot. You know where her mom gets when we're late. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Let's go. Smell you later, nerds. They took the big bag of candy while I wasn't looking. Those two have got some sticky fingers. Oh, well, at least we know where Aubrey is now. Or at least I think we do. I can't really imagine Aubrey at church, but I'll believe it when I see it. Alright, so that's in a direction we haven't been at all yet. Do you save up here? Oh, you may want to heal, heal hell. Oh, I don't think I have any more healing items. Well, you got money. Maybe you should yeah, go buy some Yeah, I should more. probably go to the pharmacy because I imagine we'll have to fight Aubrey again, maybe. I don't know. You should just load up on those. You know? Yeah, I kind of feel the same way because they heal a pretty good bit. And I still have a uh, first aid kit in reserve if somebody's like super bottomed out. Oh, sorry, you didn't use it in that last fight? Okay. I used one. Oh, you had two. I didn't know you bought another one. Yeah, I bought one. Uh, when I bought the first set of bandages. <clears throat> Alright, go save, and then I think... Do you want to give money to that dude? Yeah, yeah, here? yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally be able to leave town. I don't think I have much to pack, so I'll probably be leaving pretty soon. I should say goodbye to everyone, but I don't even know how I'm going to break it to my dad. I'll probably let my little sister Joy know first. That's one of the kids you're supposed to tutor. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> should you do that before you fight Aubrey? I feel like that's going to be... Tutor the kids. Yeah, I feel like that's gonna be the point when it switches over. Yeah, I do too. So I it's was... this first house, and then the second or third on this street that you're on. Okay. So that house. This 
answers the math. How can I help you? Gave the principal the green flyer. You're here to tutor my son, Brent. You guys look pretty trustworthy. I guess it's possible that two tutors will be better than one as long as you all split the payment. Come in. Brent is waiting for you in the room upstairs. I would never help anyone named Brent. Absolutely not. <laughs> Macaroni and cheese, cornbread, version, shrimp, and soup. Delicious. Oh, hell yes. Look at this shit. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. It's got wooden signs for plants on the wall. Yeah, I don't know what the deal with that is. House big as fuck. It's the same size as your house. I guess so. I'll go ahead and open the calculator app on my phone for you. Look, <laughs> I might be able to figure this shit out. What's up, Brent? You must be my new tutor. It's nice to meet you. My name is Brent. Should we get started? Hell yeah. So this is the <clears throat> this is the worksheet I'm struggling with. This equation is giving me trouble. Four times fifty-one is two hundred four hundred four. No, two hundred four. Wait, yeah, two hundred four, right? Oh, I got it. I understand now. How about this one? Oh shit! Five. Okay, hang on. 15 that's that's don't <laughs> don't tell me hang on that's 15 that's 30 minus God, I feel stupid. Wait, I don't I don't get it. Cause like you have to do the multiplication and the division first, right? So that should be fifteen plus fifteen and one plus three. Because six divided by two is three. So shouldn't it be thirty minus four, which is twenty six? Am I an idiot? What are you getting? Thirty two? Mm-hmm. Why? Because I just did it in the order presented. I know what you know, the order of operations things you're talking about, but like, that's not an option, so. Like, there's no answer here that's under 30. Okay, so. 30 minus 1 is 29, plus 6 is 34. Divided by two is nothing there. <laughs> Give me your fucking calculator. What? Hang on, what? Five times three equals 15. Plus 15 equals 30. Minus one equals 29. Plus six equals 35. Divided by two is 17.5. So you plugged, wait, show me what you did. I did. 5 times 3 plus 15 minus 1 plus 6 divided by 2. Okay. <laughs> I'm angry. 5 times 3 plus 15 minus 1 
minus 1. Plus 6. Plus 6. Divided by 2. Divided by 2. I don't know how that's any different from what you did, but... <laughs> This is what math has always been like, though. <laughs> Get this shit out of my face. I what mean, I to, at least I don't see any way it could be any of the others. I think it's negative two. Okay, I was right there. I legit do not understand that second problem. And that's really making me angry right now. Because <laughs> I'm fucking 30 years old. I know, because everything I, else I, you've been taught in school after seventh grade has been so useful. Well, I literally do math for a living. Like, it's my day job. Yeah, and do you do it in your head, or do you do it with the calculator on your computer? I do it with a calculator on my computer. <laughs> That's why we have computers now, to do this shit. What? I just sure because like you know when you work minimum wage, people are always like, "Well, you only know how to count change because you got that computer." It's like, yeah. <laughs> what? I this isn't fucking rocket science. I'm not going to rack my brain figuring out how much change to give you for these fries. <laughs> but it also made me remember, uh, when I was giving some dude back his change, or no, I was telling him the price of his order, and I said thirteen or no. 1318 because I said the pro the total's 1318 and he said we took a little trip because it was referencing 1813 but in 1318 we did not take a little trip no <laughs> I think I think everybody was just dying of the plague <laughs> yes. then right we tell you a story I was when I was a boy when I was a boy I was walking back from fix it after making a purchase with my hard earned money I looked down and lo and behold my brand new garden shears are missing it's true. My new garden shears tore a hole in my plastic bag. How silly I felt. Do you think you could help me find them? Should be somewhere around here. Hmm? A new weapon for Sunny. I don't know if it's this house or the next one over well, for the English tutor. We've got to do that and we've got to see the guy... Which guy? Uh, the how uh, the roof fixing guy. Oh yeah, I forgot those people. Both of those people in the f hardware store invited us over. All right, do some English tutoring. children live in the same room of their ho of these houses. I'm Joy, pleased to meet you. You must be my new tutor. Should we start now? Yes. This is the worksheet I'm stuck on.
pencil is on the table. An adverb. Look at me, I got a fucking year toward an English degree one time uh, ten years ago, so I answered all those easily. Oh, I don't know if you saw the last guy say, but we can come back with the next day when uh -huh. we're in the real world and do these again for more money. We're looking for those garden shears, too. Yeah. Excuse me. Sorry to impose, but you look like trustworthy people. Do you think you can help me? I need to pick up this week's medication at the pharmacy, but I'm feeling weak at the moment. I usually send my daughter Charlene, but she's not here right now. Can you pick it up for me? Yeah, I'll go get your fucking drugs, lady. Like, not only you're stupid enough to trust two children, the pharmacy's also not going to trust two children. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, sure, uh-huh. No, no, she gave me her, uh, her ID card and her prescription. She said they should be around here- oh, there they are, okay. I just wondered if they were gonna be hidden behind an object. Take them back to her. Fuck, I can't equip them. You can't become the clock tower. Oh shit, we got $69. <laughs> That's the sex number. <clears throat> you gave garden shears to Red Glasses Lady. Thank you, boys. I guess clock tower is actually just giant scissors, right? It's the burning, which is yes. garden yeah. shears. I'll never, ask, I'll never make such a silly mistake again. I swear to see boys willing to help a stranger these days. Come to my house anytime. You're always welcome. For what? <laughs> Garden shears. Well, shit, we're going there right the fuck now. What you got, lady? What you got in the fridge? She's got a rice cooker over there. Is that a rice cooker or a crock pot? That's same shit. Ooh, avocados, eggs, blueberries, and a grapefruit. I don't know what's wrong with these people who made this game that they're saying that eggplant is tastier than tofu. <laughs> like, they've only fucking said evil shit about tofu so far in this game. I mean, like, eggplant's good, but you can fuck it up real easy. It's kind of mm -hmm. hard to fuck tofu up. Yeah, I mean, tofu just tastes like whatever you cook with it. So just cook it with something tasty. <laughs> Like eggplant. Okay, so who's... Is this Kim's or Aubrey's? I guess it must be Kim's. I feel like if it was Aubrey's mom, she would know you. I don't know. Oh, so I... she's wearing red glasses, so she must be Kim's mom. Oh, okay. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna start preparing for dinner for my children, Kim and Vance, tonight. Uh, they better not be late again, or else. Okay. Do I go in here? Have you tried yoga? Yes. It hurts. Okay. 
I guess maybe we can come back here tomorrow. I don't know. Oh, uh, I really wish we had a map of this area. Like, straight across from this one is... It's our house. It's right? your house. So I thought it said the church was above the houses where the tutoring was, but I guess not. But like, this is your street. Yes. Can we... Uh... Oh, he doesn't want you there. I forgot. Yeah. I just want to pet his fucking dog. I don't want to go see his angry parents or whatever he's got. Let me save. Can I go back into my house? I'm afraid that'll end the day or something. I'm kind of you know? afraid of that too. So I guess I won't do it. So it must be the street down, right? Yeah, I guess so, because you can't go any further that way. Because God forbid you walk on the street. I don't think so because it's not smelly. Uh, no, it's just. A, it's gotta be stinking. Yeah, it's an ornamental bag of trash. Are those kids? Jehovah's Witnesses. Jesus. Maybe the other, the ones from the hardware store, won't happen until the next day. It could be. Uh... It's just that. Yeah, there he is. Okay. See that dude disappeared. Hey, children, come in and watch me fix the leak in my house. Oh, he's got garbage everywhere though. Christian. <laughs> Why is there so, like, exposed pipes in his house? I don't know. Well, he those a, cans aren't ripe yet. We can't take yeah, them. Yeah, he had a little bit of garbage. A few last minute adjustments, and I can finally put this baby to rest. Sweet sound of silence at last. I guess I'll try again tomorrow. Here's a dollar, kids. Go get yourself some candy or something. Okay, thanks, man. There's a bike back there. Yeah. I don't think you can walk past those flowers. Oh, yeah, you can. Aubrey's old blue bike. We've come to stab you some more. Well, here we are. This is really the last place I would expect her. I'm kind of skeptical, actually. It might be a trap. I'll open the door to take a peek. Hmm. Looks normal to me. I think they're in the middle of a sermon. Oh, there she is on the right. Hmm, she's just sitting there. All normal. So weird. I feel pretty bad interrupting this. We should probably wait until the sermon is over. No. Or <laughs> I don't respect you and I don't respect God.
I didn't expect you to just walk in like that, Sonny. Well, there's no turning back now. We have to really be quiet. There she is on the right. Like, who are these fucking creepy kids up here? Aubrey, Aubrey. What the, what the heck are you guys doing here? Uh, we want you to give ba back Basil's photo album. We want our Basil back, Basil back. <laughs> You're still on about that? That's none of your business. Really? None of my business? We all used to be friends, but now this is none of my business? Yeah, Kel, exactly. We used to be friends. Mary would be really sad to hear that. Really? You really want to bring Mary into this? <laughs> We're in a church. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who cares what Mary thinks? Mary's dead. Aubrey, seriously? What's wrong with you? I get that you have new friends now, but you can't just forget your old friends like that. My old friends? My old friends weren't there when I needed them. So that's what this is all about. When Mary passed on, we were all dealing with our own stuff. We were kids. It was hard. You think it's all so simple? You've always been simple, Kel. So what if I am? I'd rather be simple than be like you. How could you do that to Basil? You know how important that photo album is to him. It's important to all of us. That doesn't mean you can just steal it. Is that what Basil told you? I'm the one keeping it safe. What are you talking about? The photo album belongs to Basil and I'm not leaving till you agree to give it back. You're so persistent. When Mary died, you moved on so fast. You know why I can't? I come here every week even after all this time, I'm still trying to find some peace, but it doesn't look like that's happening today. We haven't talked in four years, Kel. A lot changes in four years. You and Sonny think you can barge back into my life and tell me what to do. Don't be so naive. You might look different and act different, Aubrey, but you're still the same person. The Aubrey you know is long gone, and the Aubrey that was your friend, she's long gone too. Okay, fine. I get that you're angry. If it's an apology you want here, I'm sorry, okay? I should have been there for you when we lost Mary. No, I won't accept this. Wait, where are you going? I can't let you go until you promise you'll give Basil his photo album back, you thief. What? What are, what are they saying? What's going on? <laughs> What's happening, Basil? Isn't that the boy who... I've seen Aubrey and her friends bully. Now she's stealing as well. Oops. You think you're the good guy, don't you, Kel? And I'm the big bad bully. Here to terrorize poor defenseless Basil. You're the one hanging out with the psychopath who carries around a knife... She's got you there. Uh, now's not the time to Coming do Coming from the girl who carries around a bat. Yeah, she did have a baseball bat with spikes in it. You don't get to say that. You're the one who barged in here. I already said I was sorry for everything. How do you barge into a church? It's supposed to be open to people. <laughs> if you want me to be a bully, then I'll be a bully. You two better come at me quick, or I'll come at you first. <laughs> You're gonna fight in this church? Holy shit! Let's fucking go. Give me back my fucking knife. <laughs> oh shit. Oh. 
guess I should have done that a little more intelligently, huh? I mean, I don't think I can bring him back. You don't have any jam. think it'll take well yeah you got the first aid kit but I mean she's gonna do 60 damage again so yeah like I don't see the point like he does this thing where he doesn't die sometimes I don't know if he'll do it in the real world <laughs> yeah he won't he just died Yeah, it's a two-path thing, or if she's supposed to win so she looks worse. I know she's been messed up lately, but I still feel sorry for her. Maybe that was a bad idea. Okay. But maybe it'll make more people show up next week and I can take more money from them for it. I don't, I don't know, it panned down. I thought maybe something was about to happen, but uh, I guess I'm in control again. Because, like, weren't they saying that... No, that's the dude whose roof you just fixed, and they said her father left, so I assume that's not her house. Yeah. But they said it was near her house, didn't they? I don't know. just dump something into the trash can. Let's check it out. Yeah, let's rifle through her fucking garbage like weirdos. I don't believe it. It's Basil's photo album. Can't believe she would throw it out like that. It's a good thing we looked through this trash can. But on the bright side, at least we have Basil's photo album now. And it only took us half a day too. Let's talk about teamwork. How about a high five, Sonny? Sure. Disrupted a sermon. That's enough to <laughs> high five over. Let's give this back to Basil before it gets dark. He'll be so happy when he sees it. Can you look at it? A 
My best friend Sonny trying out his new violin. He's taking lessons again so he can enjoy... He can play recitals with his sister Mary. So exciting. Kel being Kel. So many party hats. Sonny playing a video game on the couch. Sonny's a little shy, but he's a really good listener. I always end up venting at him when I get upset or stressed. Sometimes I feel like I'm bothering him, but he never seems to mind. We're back from the park, but Kel is still full of energy. He challenged Hero to an arm wrestling match, and we all know who's going to win. Please go easy on him, Hero. Oof, sorry, Kel. Better luck next time. Kel was still feeling a little sour about losing to Hero in arm wrestling last night, so Hero decided to lean in for a smooch. Kel looked annoyed, brotherly love. Me showing Sonny a book I've been reading. Mary stole my camera and took this when I wasn't paying attention. I should really keep better track of my things. It's all of us cuddling with Sonny's stuffed animals. He has so many and they're all so soft. I wish I could just lay here forever. Mary is teaching everyone to make flower crowns. Here's Sonny and Kel holding Mary's example. It looks perfect, doesn't it? Fully, Mary thought so too. Hero is still making his flower crown. It's taking a little while, but he's getting there. You have to admit his. You have to admire his persistence. It's raining super hard today. The rain always seems to come out of nowhere during springtime. Aubrey asked me to take a picture of her with her new raincoat. It's her favorite color, pink. Aubrey won't let Kel under her umbrella, but Kel seems to be taking it just fine. He says he likes the rain, how the rain tastes. Just Kel being Kel again. We went to Hobbies, but the shop owner told Kel to leave his jacket outside since Kel was getting all his comics wet. Sorry, shopkeep. It's been pretty busy with school lately, but we finally made time to get together to go to the park today. Here's Kel hanging, here's Kel hanging his legs Fuck, here's Kel hanging by his legs from a tree. He's such a good climber. I wish I was as fearless as him. First day of summer vacation, so we all wanted to celebrate by going to the beach. Watermelon is Aubrey's favorite. Kel cooling off with some orange Joe. Doesn't get too close. I shouldn't get too close or he might get my camera wet. Kel is uh, known to spill his drinks. We buried Sonny in the sand, and he died. It took forever, but he looks like he's enjoying himself. I wonder if he's going to need help getting out. I guess I'll keep him company until then. He's going to need help all the following week because he's been burned yeah. to a crisp. Yay, Sonny is turning 12 today. Even though even though me, Sonny, Aubrey, and Kelly are the same school year, Sonny is younger than all of us. He's a baby of the group, so we have to take care of him. Sonny holding a super huge present from Mary and Hero. I wonder what it is. Uh, you can't really tell from the photo, but Mary and Hero got Sonny a giant building block set. Sonny seems more interested in the box, though. He acts like uh, Mary's new kitten, Miwo. Sonny won't leave this box, so Kel put a food bowl inside. I guess this box would be Sonny and Miwo's new home. We're going beetle catching today. Here's Kel ready to pounce on his next victim. Oh, and Sonny is there too. He looks kind of sleepy. I went to the bathroom and came back to this photo. Kel says he took a picture of himself by accident, but I don't believe him. It's the first day of school today. Me, Sonny, Kel, and Aubrey are up bright and early. Aubrey is so photogenic. Sigh, goodbye summer, until next year. Oh, there are pictures missing. Mm -hmm. Can you examine the garbage can again? Nope. Okay. Oh, I bet you take it to Basil and he's like, oh, there are things missing. Yeah. You have to go beat this girl up again. <laughs> Sorry, you both at one health. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes, definitely. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you should. Well, okay. Just didn't know if this was going to be the end of this, and then... I don't know. I just figured we might as well. So, is, is Basil's house over here? Yeah, it's that first yeah. one there. There's a cat on the roof.
Knock knock, Basil, it's your friends, Kel and Sonny. Oh, hello there, who are you? Hi, Basil. Oh, wait, you're not Basil. I'm sorry, my name is Polly. I'm Basil's caretaker. Oh, hey, Kel, what is it? Hi, Basil, we got your photo album back. You did? Wow, thank you. You gave Basil back his photo album. Basil, you didn't tell me you had friends coming over. Would you like to join us for dinner? I always seem to cook just a little too much. Dinner? Sure, sounds delicious. Come on, Sonny, free dinner. Please make yourself at home. I'll go ahead and finish up the food. Well, it's been a while since I've been in here. You definitely have a lot more plants than you used to. Yeah, I like them a lot. Actually, there's some that are still alive from when you guys came here very often. Wow, you are sure dedicated. Yep, that's basil for you. Flowers and photos. Oh, that reminds me. Now that we got your photo album back, can we go through all the photos together? That's, uh, I don't know. It's been a while since you looked through them, hasn't it? Come on, it'll be fun. Um, sure, okay. Here it is. The shit we've already done. Yeah. Oops. Well, I mean, now we can see that there are some missing from even the ones that we were yeah. going through. It's not like to a certain point they all disappear. Oh man, it looks like a lot of the photos are still missing. Maybe Aubrey kept them for herself. We'll have to go get those back later. On the bright side, look how short I was. I know I've grown at least a foot since Hero left for college. I can't wait till he comes back. This year, I'll finally be taller than my brother. Anyway, don't sweat it about the missing photos, Basil. Me and Sonny will take care of things for you. You just focus on getting back to your happy, carefree self. Okay, thank you. I'll try. Sorry about the wait. Dinner's taking longer than I thought. Would you boys uh, like to help? Yeah, sure, I'll help. I got some experience helping my brother cook and stuff. That would be lovely. Please follow me to the kitchen this way. Hi, Sonny. Okay. <laughs> Basil's camera, it looks really dusty. Bunch of books, most of them are gardening and indoor plant care, flowers. Room. Oh, what's that book? A book on okay, book on plants. Oh shit! The hell is that? Oh, an orchid. A white egret orchid. In the language of flowers, it symbolizes the phrase "My thoughts will follow you into your dreams." Oh, Sonny, I didn't expect to see you in here. How are you doing, Sonny? Is everything okay with you? Never mind, then. Grandma can't hear us, you know. She hasn't been feeling very well lately. It's already been four years, hasn't it? It's nice to see that you're still around, even if it's only for a little while. Here, take my photo album. I want you to have it. I'm trusting you with it, okay? 
I just think you can probably use it more than me. I do not have a camera. Basil gave you his photo album. A lot has happened since those pictures were taken. Sometimes it feels like it was all a bad dream. It's hard to remember now, but I think at the time I took photos of what I was most afraid to lose. Flipping through this album, you can still see the good times. Maybe one day things can go back to the way they were before. Sunny, Basil, dinner's ready. Okay, coming. Polly and Kel's homemade dinner. Would you like to eat some? Yes. No. Everything tastes so good. You're the best, Polly. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just following Grandma's recipes. Thanks for your help, Kel. So I was saying before, Polly, tomorrow my older brother Hero is finally coming back from college. My mom's all crazy right now preparing the house and everything. I uh, don't want to be anywhere near that mess. Although, I am pretty excited to see him. Every time he comes back, the first thing we do is compare heights. This year is the year that I'm finally going to be taller than him. I can feel it in my bones. You and your brother seem close. That's good. Family is important. Oh, hey. What you doing with Basil's photo album there, Sonny? Oh, I, I gave it to him. I just thought he should have it. Whoa, really? That's so cool of you. Makes sense. Especially since Sonny's moving away and all. What? Sonny's moving? Oh yeah, I thought I already mentioned it. I must have forgot. He's moving in three days, I think. Sorry, I thought you already knew. Oh, uh, no, I guess I must have missed it. Sorry, um, may I be excused? I have to go to the bathroom. What's up with him? Well, that's just how it is. When you gotta go, you gotta go. What if he legitimately did just have to shit real bad all of a sudden? You just gonna barge in on the motherfucker, I guess. Everything is gonna be okay. Everything is gonna be okay. Everything is gonna be okay. Oh, it's you, Sonny. You're here. I'm so glad. You can see it too, can't you? Something behind you Sonny why do you look so scared everything is okay now isn't it alright well I guess we'll be fucking leaving bro wait please Sonny don't leave me not again. Can you not turn around now? <laughs> I don't know. Like, I talked to him several times. He said the same thing, so I left. Then he freaked out. Oh, <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, hey, Sonny. I think it's about time we went home. It's way past my curfew. So yeah, anyway, Polly, if you ever need me, here's my address. I'll just, uh, I live just down the block. Thanks, Kel, you're sweet. Oh, it's nothing. Say goodbye to Basil for me. Here, let me 
me save one more time. Get, get out of my way. This is our block, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. there's the doghouse. I guess you have to go home first. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, Sonny, thanks for hanging out with me today. Sorry for all the trouble. Uh, that was a pretty crazy adventure, huh? I can tell you haven't talked to anyone in a while, uh, but that's okay. It just takes practice. Anyway, Hero's coming back from college tomorrow, so I'm sure he'll want to see you before we leave. Before you leave. So, if you don't mind, I'll be coming back for you again in the morning. Good night, Sonny. Sweet dreams. <laughs> Huh. Crunch. Huh. What, uh... Whispers emanate from inside the box. Good, another knife. Yeah, let's grab that real quick. Okay. Yeah. All right. Refrigerator's full of spiders. Uh. Microwave is inoperable, so I guess we don't get any steak. You can't walk on the blood. No. Well, I don't think that's blood. I think that's spiders. Oh, okay. It's just hordes and hordes of them. What the fuck is that? Oh, it disappeared. Okay. Only way to go is up. Squashed one. Squashed it. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. The fucking shadow man's up there. Oh, hell yeah. Sadako's up here. 
Oh, uh, what's up? Oh, okay. A creature. A creature has appeared. Oh! Fucking grabbed by the ghoulies. Yeah, I feel like that's it. Yeah, let's just go ahead and attack first. I feel like you had to calm yourself down the first okay. time. Okay, no, you're right, you're right. I forgot. Okay, that didn't work this time. This is getting nowhere fast, huh, Sonny? Heals you a little bit with that. I don't know how much. Oh, okay. That's a good bit. It's just like I can't damage it, so I don't know if I should try to run. It seems like there's a lot going on. You need to block out the little things and figure out what's important. You clear your mind and remember to focus. That's what I did. Focus, okay, sorry. notes on that mirror. No. There's also a little man. The old Sadako hours. Who up? The achievement is called Uyasumi. Welcome to White Space. You have been living here for as long as you can remember. Uh 
Alright, nothing very different. Pet cat. Oh, I forgot to pet the cat. Oh. How will it know you love it? Oh, wait. Here we go. Let's pet that fucking cat. Open the door. Amori, welcome back. See, Hero, I told you not to worry. Amori always shows up when we need him. Is Kel missing an eye? Um. Okay, it looks fine on your screen on mine. It's just small enough that it's kind of obscured. Uh, yeah, actually, they're, all of their, um, their left eyes look weird on my screen, but I don't know what the deal with that is. Is everything okay, Amori? We were worried about you. Now that you're here, let's go out and look for Basil. He's counting on us. Be patient, Kel. We have to make sure Morio is okay first. Or maybe you and Hero can go yourselves. Come on, Morio. Let's go exploring together. Just the two of us. Hey, you can't leave us out of this. He's right, Aubrey. We have to do this together as a team. You never know when you'll need someone's help. We're stronger when we work together. Amori and I will be fine on our own. You'll protect me, won't you, Amori? You gross. Get a room. Come on, Aubrey. It's time to get serious now. Let's go tell Mary that Amori is okay. You know how she's always worrying about him. Okay, okay, fine. I was just trying to have a little fun. Get that snake money. Oh yeah, snake money. So you can also give the flower puzzle to... Yeah. Uh... Hi, Mary. Look, Amori is here. Stop disappearing like that. You know my heart can't take it. So there's still no sign of Basil? Where could he be? We're not sure. We've been looking everywhere and still nothing. I hope Basil is okay. I miss him so much. Yeah, I miss hearing him talk about all the stuff he's into, like all the flowers stuff, and the photo stuff, and the art stuff, and the reading stuff. My hair is so tangly. I miss when Basil used to brush my hair. But Maury, will you brush it for me? Well, I miss the way... I miss when Basil used to remind me to wash my hands. <laughs> Look, they're so dirty. Ew, Kel. Kel, you should probably wash your hands anyway. Everyone, I know it's tough right now, but we have to stay positive. We should all try to be like Basil. Even when Basil is upset, he always manages to smile. So is there anywhere you haven't checked? Well, there is a forest west of the stomp, but it's gross and full of spiders. Ugh, spiders. Well, you know what that means. Once again, it's time to face your fears, little brother. And that means you too, hero. Come on, big bro. You can't back out now. It's just like how it was with Omori. We're here to support you all the way. Yeah, you're right. I'm just being silly. Don't worry, guys. If anyone or anything tries to hurt you, I'll smash it out of the way. You can count on it. Don't forget about me. I'll always be there to help, too. Yeah, yeah. We can do this together. Let's go to the forest west of the stump. Lead the way, Omori. Okay, let's do the puzzle thing real quick. She's hiding over there by yeah. the tree. 
Is that a flower puzzle for me? Maybe Neb will finally notice me now. Oh no, I said his name. Please pretend you didn't hear that. Thank you for the flower puzzle. Here's a gift in return. I picked a bunch of them earlier. Aren't they pretty? You got a daisy from Daisy. I wonder when I should give it to him. Hey, Van, come here for me. Did you want something, Burly? Yeah, stand right here and look that way. Okie dokie. Aubrey, come here. What do you want now, Burly? What's with that sassy tone? Come on, we're best friends. You see that big guy there over there? I know who Van is. Great, go on and give him a good whacking for me. Why? What if he gets hurt? Always with the questions. Can't you just do something without thinking for once? Go on, smash. Hey, ask for Aubrey, not you. Oh yeah, you gotta switch. I forgot that that was a mechanic oh, that yeah. it taught us last time. Well, I thought, I, yeah, I wasn't thinking about that either. I thought we were gonna have to fight him. Okay, there, I did it. Now what? Do it again. Do it until I say stop. <laughs> okay, but what am I doing exactly? No questions, only smash. Committing murder is what you're doing. You're getting somewhere, I think. Come on, you can do it. Stamina, stamina. How long do I have to keep doing this? Until I say stop, don't slow down. My arms feel like noodles. Keep pushing, you're almost there. think I'm gonna pass out. Please, just one more smash. Aubrey gained 50 juice. What was that all about? Nothing really, I was just bored, but honestly, this is pretty boring too. What? That's all? Hey, at least you got something out of it. I'm still bored here. Come on, Van. Let's play some tetherball. I just don't get burly at all. Alright, I'm gonna save and we can call it a night. Oh, you don't want to play Dragon Warrior tonight? I don't know, do you? Not particularly. Yeah. We need to find a time to play it because we need to get to a point where we want to stop it. Yeah, we should probably do that. Like, maybe after we finish Omori, let's try to finish that. Or at least the main part of that. Yeah, because yeah. I know you said there's what looks like a lot of post-game content. Yeah, I don't know. We'll just see what happens. Alright. So. Dot hack Infection, Monday. Mm-hmm. Resident Evil, probably concluding Resident Evil Tuesday. Okay. Goodbye. Bye.